Kennedy, uh, I train with Soul Fighters here in Allen, and I also have a gym in Wiley with my uh, best friend and training partner, Bobby Pena, uh, Infinite Dynasty. So uh, if you're out in Wiley, come check us out. Uh, I started boxing when I was 15, just with my dad and my friends in the backyard, but he was he was a good boxer. He boxed amateur when he was a kid, so when we were just in the backyard brawling, he was teaching us, you know, the good basics. Uh, and then, uh, of course, UFC came out, and me and my dad would watch that. And you know, I kind of always had in the back of my mind that would be something really cool to do, but I never really pursued it. And then when I was in the Marine Corps, I started doing the Marine Corps Martial Arts Program. Um, and I thought, hey, I want to do some more than this. And I started, uh, got back into training Jiu Jitsu, uh, got my blue belt, and then started doing a little Muay Thai. And then as soon as I moved back to Texas, I uh, started fighting. Yeah, I wasn't a, a very physical kid growing up. I was kind of a nerd, uh, a little chubby video games, all that kind of stuff. Um, and when I became a teenager, teenager, I started being a little more athletic, but uh, it wasn't until I joined the Marine Corps that I really learned how to like dig deep and, and push and, and try to fight for the things that you want. Yeah, I've been fighting since 2007. Um, mostly amateur. I took a break, went back in the Marine Corps for a while. Uh, when I'm back, I had my uh, return fight uh, a couple months ago. Didn't go my way, but it was a pretty good fight uh, against Andrew Sosa. Uh, pretty good back and forth. Um, went into the third round, but I got finished in the third round. But uh, as, a, as a comeback fighter, I felt okay with it. I did a lot of things right, and I identified a lot of things I did wrong, and I'm working on fixing that for this next fight with Moses Diaz. We fight March 28th against Moses Diaz, XKO 25. Um, I watched two of his fights. Um, and from what I saw, uh, it was kind of hard to tell just based on the fights where his, where his strengths were. Um, he get, both fights ended in a guillotine standing. Um, I think my jiu jitsu is a little better than that. I don't know if he's going to be able to finish me with that. But I know he trains at Alvarez. Uh, I know they're a really strong jiu jitsu team. I know some of the guys that train there from my jiu jitsu competitions. Uh, I've seen them around. I know they're really solid, really technical, really tough guys. And I know he trains Muay Thai at the gym. That's what I heard at least. Um, I know those guys, are, they train really hard. I've gone up there and trained with them too. So I expect a really good fight. I know he's a really tough guy. Um, well, I've been, I've lost my last few fights, uh, so I'm really, really eager. Um, I don't really have a whole lot to lose now. Uh, I'm just gonna go out there and put it all on the line. Hopefully you see some, uh, some pretty good stuff. All right, I wanna thank my sponsor, Comtech Sales. I wanna thank Soul Fighter Jiu Jitsu and Infinite Dynasty Jiu Jitsu and my best friend and trainer partner, Bobby Pena. Yeah, boy!